Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here to day number eight of this current temporary series where I go around to Southern California eateries that are open for drive through takeout, or to-go orders. I'm about to cruise over to Wilmington. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Just got to get my supplies in order and head out. Yep, I agree, Big the Foot. A nice scenic drive along these train tracks. We're almost there, don't worry. I'm hungry too. Located on the corner of the 1300 block of Gulf Avenue and Pacific Coast Highway, even though there are over 300 of these establishments, the first is on this road, Wiener Schnitzel. Opened in the early 60s, the founder was a gentleman by the name of John Gallardi, who was on the ground level of the Taco Bell organization. In fact, he was good friends with Glenn Bell and had this idea to start his own business. And Glenn Bell said, that's perfectly fine. You should expand and move on, but do not sell tacos. And he didn't want to do hamburgers either. Hot dogs was not so common. So that's how the idea came up gone through a few structural changes over the years, but more or less the same. The drive through has been added on soon after opening. His wife was the one we can thank for coming up with the name. Originally, Der Wiener Schnitzel, or Deer Wiener Schnitzel, but they dropped the first word, and now it's just the one word. He didn't really like the idea at first and said, well, it's better than, it's better than John's hot dogs. And the name stuck. Side note, Tasty Freeze. Probably 10, 15, probably 15 years ago. Don't quote me on that, but Tasty Freeze was purchased by this company. Speaking of that iconic logo, it was created in the late 70s by Saul Bass, who spent over four decades working in Hollywood for directors like Scorsese, Billy Wilder, and Alfred Hitchcock would be proud. A nice little side note. On the front of the building, there is a placard that says, at this location on July 3rd, 1961, the first Der Wiener Schnitzel national chain opened its doors. A historical landmark right here. There's actually two placards. It all began here, where he first served up hot dogs, and his secret recipe chili. Now the world's largest hot dog chain, we are proud to continue the legacy of great food and great fun. For the time being, the picnic area has some tape around it for obvious reasons, but the drive-through is open as well as the walk-up section around the front. Now I have eaten at a few of these in my day, but never this location. Palm trees are a nice little touch, providing some extra SoCal ambiance. That building is so cool, so historic. That's different. Another plaque on this side. Counting three placards. Oh, I almost tripped over the, over that. That was an unusual sound that 18-wheeler truck just made. Well, I guess it's kind of normal, but it was a little bit <laughs> very prominent. <laughs> I haven't decided quite what I'm gonna order yet, but I am leaning towards one chili dog and one 
sauerkraut layered without chili. So one without chili, just with sauerkraut, maybe some onions and a chili dog, or maybe something else. That's just, I'm, I'm gonna decide when I get up to the window, but that's my first thought. Just waiting for a friend of mine to arrive. Gonna have a little lunch together. the very first wiener schnitzel. It's a fun word to say. I've noticed these are prominent in larger places too, but especially the teeny tiny old school buildings, you see these concrete stanchions that are placed there to keep, you do not want a car driving through the structure itself. I've noticed these about, oh, by the way, David has arrived. You may, have you ever had wiener schnitzel before? <laughs> I love wiener schnitzel. You love it? I love it. How many times have you consumed wiener schnitzel? Uh, once a month. Once a month? Yeah. You ever been to the first one? No. Neither have I. Really? So this will be an experience for both of us. Yeah. And I was just about to mention that, yes, you can, because it's a can <laughs> of chili. Sometimes chili places will take a, have a little, souvenir that you can take so i think i'm gonna get my souvenir on a hot dog though i think you should do that what's gonna be your what's gonna be your go-to menu item i get the same thing every single time okay the, uh, the number three chili cheese dog and a chili cheeseburger a number three you get a cheeseburger also cheeseburger and a cheese uh, uh yeah a chili dog all right i think i'm gonna well I'm gonna decide when I get up there. Okay. Let's do it. When you think of hot dog chains, what's the first one that comes to your mind? The only one, this is it. The only one. That's right. Nailed it. I wonder if, if I should get a little weird in honor of being here on this event. You're gonna get a little weird get with a little it? Weird? A little weird at Wiener Schnitzel? I like the weird, so I don't know, maybe the Cuban. Yeah, you could do that. I'm thinking just a basic chili dog and a regular chili dog with no chili and I'm gonna say horseradish, but I meant to say sauerkraut. So I do love sauerkraut. Yeah. It's called the German. There you I'm go. The German. Okay, that's what I want. It has yeah. it has the spicy kind of mustard, not yeah, the yeah. basic mustard. Yeah. Oh, that's good too. Dang, oh. I might get that too. That's They're almost like, like a Chicago dog almost. Yeah, I need to have a pickle. Is that kind of like a Chicago dog? Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna get a Cuban and a German, then maybe chili cheese fries, just to kind of have like a win in Rome moment. Yeah. All right, that's what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, look at those. <laughs> oh man. Is that too much? Two two it. dogs and chili cheese fries? Because they're not like super huge. No, the dog the dogs are pretty small. Well small ish. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh look at this. I've never seen a place that has thousand island fries. Huh. That sounds amazing actually. It kinda does. See I was thinking originally the kraut dog. I still want a kraut dog though. Maybe I'll get. What's the difference? Oh, that's the difference. Yeah, the German. Okay, yeah. So normal kraut dog is like a German, but I do like that mustard. So okay, that's what I'm doing. We're still having a problem with these fogging up. You know, the fog comes up through the mask. Do you have a problem with your glasses fogging? Yes, that's it. Nice to I, yeah, that's why I don't wear them. That's why you don't wear them? Yeah. Come the beverages. Originally, when I suggested this, I said Winchester. Yeah. And you were like, I think it's in Wilmington. And then I looked it up and realized I was incorrect. These are some, these are some like beastly sized yeah. beverages. Yeah. What is that? That was like a Mountain Dew? Pineapple lemonade. Pineapple lemonade. Yeah. I went with the doctor. I was just about to drink this. I went with the doctor. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna take the mask off first. Oh, they gave, we didn't even request them and they gave us a straw. See, we didn't even request them and they still, very nice. The, the facial item hanging from the ear is becoming quite fashionable these days. It's a thing. It's a skill. It is. I can't pull that off. You can't? No. I can pull it off. At least I think I can. <laughs> Got the bags full of items. We're gonna put the car here. David's backing up his mobile into this spot. 
and that way we can have that the building as a backdrop. It's our new life, Adam. Can I have a little? Of course. And then you can't go to Dorwina Schnitzel without getting just a classic chili cheese dog. Oh yeah. And fries. They have good fries. Under us, don't don't sleep on Dis or Dorwina Schnitzel fries. Man. Did you almost say Disney? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love, it's on the tip of the tongue. I, I, dude, it can't help it sometimes. I do love me some wiener shrimp fries. So you just got regular fries with no chili on them? Just straight no, up fries. No ketchup, no chili. Just, just straight. Fries. I've never had, I've always, I always do the same thing. I got the chili on mine. They're pretty good. All chili fries. Good. Did you get the Thousand Islands? No, no Thousand Islands, just chili. That's not what's for the salt for the mustard. Really strong. There's a lot going on there. I don't know if it's proper etiquette to start with the fries, but I'm doing it. No, it's not. It's got some chili on your eye. Right here. I got chili on my eye? <laughs> on your eyebrow. Chili on my eyebrow. It's part of the experience. The jalapeno on there. There's some ham on this too. Well, it's all bacon. Well, it looks like it? Canadian bacon. Yeah. Canadian bacon is basically ham. Mm -hmm. I like to say Canadian bacon, though. It's like. Me. Don't put ham on my pizza. Yeah, there's bacon on this. Not, not Canadian bacon. It's like legit bacon. Proper bacon? Jalapeno. That's a weird combo. Why is that Australian? I didn't know that. I didn't know they did jalapeno with bacon in Australia. I'm seriously gonna get this again. It's good. <laughs> this is almost a meal on its own. You don't even need another hot dog. Yeah. yeah. The crowd's on the other one. The one that fell. It fell on the ground, but didn't come out of the box, so it had a little shuffle. It's still so, edible. This dog is really, really good. It does taste a little bit different. Like, you're talking about like a normal hot dog that you'd order versus this? Well, versus like a regular chili dog. My idea of a food review is kind of giving a uh, lackluster wrap-up on how the food tastes. Yeah. It's more about the destination and yeah. a little bit of backstory on the history Experience. and a unique spot. <laughs> Yeah. more than a precise pinpointed food review. You gotta stay in your lane. There's plenty of other people that are way better at doing that. Right, you. exactly. Stay in your lane. This is what you do. But if there's food, I'm gonna eat it. This is what we're dealing with, and I say that, but oh, there's like a little bit on my on my thumb there, a little bit of the kraut. This is the one that fell on the floor right down there. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't. It didn't come out of the box though. So it's like it's fine. It just kind of kind of mix it up just a bit. I do love sauerkraut. I don't know what it is, but classic chili cheese. It's a nice little perspective there through the cups. You go. That's just the basic chili cheese. I, for one, I'm thankful that places are open for takeout and drive-through, and I can do stuff like this. But I will also be extra special thankful when we're able to sit at a table <laughs> once again. That'll be the day. But it, it's a, it's, it, this has made us very creative, or made, everyone has to be very creative in this current situation. This is really good. I think I like the other one a little bit better. Oh, the, uh, it could the be, it could be because I'm getting full. Maybe the first one I was like really hungry. This is good, but I think I like the other one a little bit better. But I do like the spicy mustard. And yeah, in these spicy in, mustard's great. In these times, eating next to a dumpster. We will not forget these days. Way down the road in five years. When all this is but a distant memory. I will remember my Wiener Schnitzel parking lot. Dumpster standing experience. Probably not too far off though. The, restaurant tables will be open again. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps 
keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. It's over.